Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Adesil, of course, and uh, welcome back to another this sweet vlog. I thought I would do a little bit of an apartment tour, so to say. There's my plastic flowers, <laughs> and here's some here's some pictures of me as a kid. <laughs> me dressed up as Superman. I think I told this story to you guys, but it's me wearing my uh, Batman cape and. Um, like pajamas with my underwear on the outside. That's that's me dressed up uh, like uh, uh, yeah, like Superman. <laughs> Anyways, summer is finally coming to uh, my parts of Sweden, or rather the the spring, as you can see the the flowers and stuff are kind of growing. Quite happy about that. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, just unpacked kind of most of my stuff since uh, coming back from. From uh, the Paris, the France, uh, yeah, so good. No, no, that's German. <laughs> Still got my shoes and shit in there. Uh, got some uh, goodie bag stuff from Ubisoft. Got uh, uh, Aiden Pierce cap. His uh, like scarf that he pulls off over his mouth, like a keychain, some stickers, a t-shirt, and a nice little dolly. Ta da! Or figurine, or whatever you call it. You can put it. There, I don't know if that shows it good. So, so, oh yeah, yeah, I was gonna show this. I bought my mom a, a little Eiffel Tower thingy, but I broke it on the way home. <laughs> uh, man, hope she's still gonna be happy about it, though it's supposed to be glued to that bottom, as you can hear, it's, it's clearly, clearly, like, open. There's, there's all the stuff you guys have given me, uh, not except for the compressed air. This is to, to, to get high on, of course. It's not because I like to keep my pizza clean. <laughs> uh, the Viking helmet and also the, the figurine. You've probably seen that before, the paper figurine. I got at Gamescom last year, but this little thingy you might not have seen unless you follow me on Twitter. 100,000 subscribers. Very nice. Hope you can see it. There we go. Uh, I think that's about it. There's nothing really else I want to or need to show you guys in here. Oh yes, except for that and that. I got it put up on the wall as well, so you guys, you guys know I give a shit about the stuff you send me, so pretty nice stuff. Let's have a seat at the PC and uh, discuss the entire trip a little bit and some more fun stuff. Okay guys, so uh, lots and lots and lots of things to talk about. I don't even know why I'm having my headphones on, it's just I feel more comfortable I guess with them on compared to without them because like, I'm used to the sound of my voice talking. Uh, never mind, screw that. Okay, so first of all the Paris trip, uh, the Ubisoft trip aka the Ubis uh, or the Ubisoft the Watch Dogs event trip was Oh, so much fun. Uh, Magnus, uh, the, the guy that takes care of everything, uh, basically PR and digital wise when it comes to Ubisoft Nordic, had booked me an early flight so I could meet up with Corrales and Doc M during the day before the Watch Dogs event and hang out with them and enjoy Paris and shit. Uh, sadly though, I had to get, get up 5 in the morning because there was 3 different flights I had to take to get to Paris uh, and I would arrive around 3 in the afternoon noon. I overslept until 9. <laughs> I was supposed to get up at 5 in the morning, but I'm not exactly the kind of guy that can get up at 5 in the morning unless if I go to bed early, so I can sleep at least like 7 or 6 hours. Uh, I didn't go to bed until like 1 or 2 o'clock in the night, so I got like 3 and a half, 4 hours of sleep, and I simply overslept all my, all my 4 alarms. I didn't even put them to snooze or anything. I just slept right through them and the fucking taxi that I ordered to, to even give me a wake up call and like say hey we're outside we can pick you up now didn't even call me so I was like screwed but luckily Magnus uh, hats off to you man if you're watching thank you very much uh, both for a great event but also for being so quickly booking my flight again so I actually made it to Paris uh, the day before the event but I sadly couldn't hang out with Doc M and Corrales anything during the day or or even the, the night because I arrived at the hotel at uh, almost midnight and I had to take a shower unpack some of my stuff and go to bed because the event started at 8 in the morning and I did not want to oversleep for that <laughs> uh, but the event itself 
freaking amazing. Uh, the, or first of all, like that Magnus uh, uh, booked my flight again, so I could get there. Just that was very nice. Thank you very much. If you again, like if you're watching, uh, it was nice to be able to meet Doc uh, again and actually meet Coralis for the first time. Very nice. Sal didn't get too much time to spend with them since they went home the same day as the event ended, and I stayed the night then to be able to take the flight home the next day because no other flights connected the correct way that day for me so I didn't really get to hang out with them that much but like I said I overslept so that's my own problem uh, the hotel was great uh, nothing bad at all to say about the hotel room it was clean smelled good the bed uh, was hard and big so I didn't fall off it or anything like that uh, like it was great came to the event the event, the event was inside uh, some kind of a nightclub I guess so it was dark inside and it was easy to play there was one uh, one bad thing about the whole thing though, sadly. Uh, Ubisoft had specially ordered four custom PCs for me, Doc M, Jack Frags, and one more person. I don't remember if it was Rishi uh, or another person that, uh, that was gonna get one PC to play on because we're PC players that can't really play with the controllers. But sadly, the company they ordered it from kind of failed Ubisoft, sadly. Uh, so the computers didn't work that Ubisoft got, so we had to play on the PlayStation 4 like every everyone else. And... Uh, it's kind of difficult to assess the game in a good way and like tell if you really like it or not uh, because it's kind of like me I'm right-handed it's like me playing with my with my left hand instead like using the mouse with my left hand that's that's how hard it is to actually play with a controller for a guy that's not used to it uh, but um Watchdog itself actually looked pretty pretty good actually on the console uh, actually very good for being a console to be honest because like I'm PC Master Race I'm sorry guys, who, you who play on consoles, I mean, like, if, if you're one of those delusional persons that still thinks console gaming is the way to go, I mean, you, you gotta you gotta wake up and, and smell the PC, man, you gotta wake up and smell the PC, because uh, an okay PC is just as good or better as a console, a good PC like mine is, is like five, six times as powerful as a PlayStation 4, and a very good PC like I've seen some of my subscribers have that are like crazy PCs that cost like a shit ton of money, they blow even my PC out of the water completely, so my PC looks like it's five years old compared to theirs. Uh, but 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 like for a PC version or for a X or for a PlayStation version, the game looked really good actually and, and behaved really well as well. Like I didn't see any big frame drop issues. I didn't see any issues with textures loading. Uh, nothing bad whatsoever. Like the things I've seen with, for example, uh, Rockstar's. Uh, GTA 5. GTA 5 I've seen so many bad things about, like trees that doesn't load in, buildings that you're standing 50 meters away from and they look like they're made of cardboard, like nothing like that. The, the city actually felt really vibrant and nice even on console. I even talked with the developers and asked them and they said that there's as many cars and as many peoples and as many things on the console version as the PC version. So the only thing you get more of in the PC version is of course better textures, uh, longer draw distance and of course um, simply more FPS and higher resolution of course as well. So uh, it's gonna be fun to play even if you play it on console. It's not gonna be like GTA, that's for sure. I can't really tell you exactly how good or bad the game is because first of all I wasn't playing on PC so it's not what I'm used to so I couldn't enjoy the game uh, fully because I struggle just to look the correct way to be honest. I mean like shit, I'm not used to having my guy looking to the left whilst the camera's pointing to the right. That's That's just like baffling to me. I mean like if, if I look to the left with my mouse, that's where the dude and the crosshair look, so <laughs> there's no issues. So, uh, but yeah, so, so it looks it looks it looks to be good, but I can't really tell you guys anything. Really, I can't give you a review or anything like that because it's it's pre-release and it is on console as well. But as soon as I get it on PC, I'm gonna give you guys some uh, nice 1440p or 4K gameplay. Uh, or it's it's gonna be recording 1080p probably on my PC anyways because all I got is a 1080p monitor. Uh, but it looks way better on YouTube. If you if you upscale it for YouTube uh, specifically because you get more bitrate anyway, so let's not go into <laughs> too, too much semantics. Uh, the food was very nice in Paris. <laughs> I ended up going.
going to McDonald's though. I feel so dirty. There was a McDonald's like literally 30 seconds to walk away from the hotel and it would take like five minutes to walk to a nice restaurant and have dinner so instead of doing that the fat bastard the fat lazy bastard i am i went to mcdonald's and that's where i really only met the only person that, that wasn't nice or spoke good english uh, and that was a girl working at mcdonald's she was kind of bitchy and didn't really put up a smile or try to be friendly at all but I can't really blame her because like people are like that on McDonald's in Sweden too. They don't want to smile or anything because McDonald's pays you like shit and they treat you like shit most of the time. So it kind of makes me sad to go and eat there actually. That's why I try to like eat at Max and, and Burger King because the employees there usually look, or at least at Max, look a lot more happy. Like they get paid and better and, and like they don't get treated like animals. But every other French person I um, I met and talked to or super nice. I, I don't get this bullshit like with Japanese women like fainting and getting like some kind of like what is it Paris syndrome or whatever they call it. You can you can Google it later, but it's like 200 or something like that. Japanese women every year get put into hospital because like some French dude or French woman is like unpleasant to them, so they get like a shock. They think everyone is gonna be so nice and stuff in Paris, but everyone was super nice. The taxi drivers were super nice. I even tipped both of them because they were were so friendly to talk to and uh, just great people simply. And the food at the event was great. There were like uh, I don't know. Do you call them quiches? Like. Um, it was like a catering uh, firm or, or or catering company that that brought like uh, th- those like snack foods that you like eat with a toothpick and there were like mini pizzas, mini hamburgers, like mini sub sandwiches with like um, tuna sandwich tuna taste with with like fried onion on top and stuff like that. It was it was really really good food. Uh, I I just. Uh, Overall, I enjoyed my, my, my stay there. I, I like France. I like the French people, to be honest. You guys know I make a lot of fun of you. Like, wait, wait, I smell like cheese and I do not speak English. I am as a French and shit like that. But you guys are nice people. Uh, I've said it before. I played with French people a lot in Counter-Strike. And most of the time, the French people on, uh, when I, I play with on Counter-Strike are, are super funny and friendly. So I'm super happy with the event. I'm just a little bit tired now. A little bit... I wouldn't really say jet lag, but since I get so excited, I, I really didn't sleep much at the hotel. I think I slept like five hours there or four hours before the event and slept kind of little uh, on the way. Uh, the night uh, I was going home as well because I was afraid I was going to miss my flight home because that's even worse than missing the flight there uh, because that means I, I have no way of getting home really until another day or something like that or maybe two more days. So... Um, Overall, it was really, really nice. It's nice to be home and be able to sleep in my own bed and that kind of stuff and and and, and do my thing again. Uh, great news, though, uh, when when it comes to other stuff, uh, we have the crack pack now finished. Uh, the absolute final testing is going on right now, uh, and we're looking for a nice seed for our new map with our castles and our two teams that are going to be battling out to get as many heads of the enemy team as possible. So there's not going to be any like blowing up uh, the enemy base or anything like that so there's not gonna be any like uh, tears over that but we're gonna have like I don't want to spoil anything because we have thought out so many awesome fucking fun things to do and we only just have like two or three rules like don't destroy people's bases and don't like attack them unprovoked like if they're caving and something like that so you won't lose their stuff but like we, we basically made it so it will be super easy to have fights, cool fights, fun fights all the time without blowing up anyone's base so they have to start over from zero or move and shit like that and without losing all their stuff but like still a lot of fun and it's gonna be like a pride slash uh, victory monument where we're gonna have the enemy's heads collected like on spikes or like on a big wall kind of like I had in the first Feed the Beast or second Feed the Beast season with my big uh, my big uh, Greek house if you remember it like made of marble and uh, that had like uh, people's heads on there like uh, Ethos head and B-dubs and Yenerex head and that kind of stuff kind of like I did there that's kind of what we're gonna do uh, but on a bigger scale with more people so it's gonna be super fun that means also that of course there's gonna be a lot of live streaming of the new map and the new season of the crack pack it's gonna be 
Oh, it's gonna be so fucking fun because I missed Minecraft. Uh, because I'm kind of sick of the vanilla crack server right now. I'm just waiting for that uh, map also to be reset before I play on it again. So I kind of feel happy and and interested in playing and recording there. Uh, so, so that's gonna be fun. I haven't done any day set yet. I'm so sorry for that, guys. I have not had time. Uh, I tried to do some the days before I went to Paris. But I recorded for, I think, six and a half hours. And I got like two minutes of interesting footage and I have no way of cutting that up to a good video so that's not gonna make it to any video sadly um, other good news uh, there might be a trailer of uh, Fallout 4 being released now in a couple of weeks at E3 and also there's gonna be there's gonna be a new Far Cry 4 uh, you guys remember Far Cry 3 I fucking love that especially with the hardcore enemy vast the definition of insanity uh, the new the new bad guy looks fucking epic he looks like like don't don't think I'm racist here or anything like that but like he's he's a white dude with like blonde hair and looks kind of Nazi uh, like a monster race kind of guy uh, and uh, there's like a, a smaller guy sitting in front of him he sits on a big throne like this like just smiling evilly and there's like a tiny guy that looks so scared out of his life uh, sitting with a grenade in his hand like this and the the the, the tall like uh, blonde guy is has like a uh, this is sprint of the grenade on like on like a ring on his finger and he, like there's a parad paradise island in the background like always in Far Cry it just it looks really nice and to not make this video too long I gotta cut it off here I'm gonna probably talk about more gaming news related stuff uh, about Battlefield and upcoming DLC and stuff in the new videos coming soon um, but I got a little bit of footage from uh, from uh, Watch Dogs uh, I can't really show any Watch Dogs gameplay or footage to be honest but I, I got some stuff from the event itself with some wide angle shots and that kind of stuff and some stuff with Corrales and Doc and a little bit of footage I got from Paris whilst in the taxi and at the airport and whilst walking uh, in the town just a little bit so or in the city just a little bit so i hope you guys enjoy that i hope you enjoyed the video overall thank you guys for watching have a wonderful day bye bye here we got doc let's go say hello doc was filming me earlier now i'm gonna paparazzi you a bit doc where did corrales run to <laughs> you got your mouth full already <laughs> there he is